Hello, hello and welcome to one more game from Tata Steel Chess Masters Tournament in 2020. Uh, one of the most important tournaments uh, during the year. And uh, four games in second round were decisive, so that means they were not drawn. Uh, by players and I would like to cover one of these games. So as White, Wesley So, um, he's an uh, American player uh, with Filipino origin, uh, he's ranking 2765 and we have uh, Vishwanathan Anand, legend of chess, 50 years old player and for the first time in vacancy he won in 1989 so that was before most of the players uh, born actually Mo most of the players uh, in this tournament born only Nikita Vitugov were two years old at that time but the rest of the players are younger than that so that's a pretty incredible um, thing to know very interesting stuff uh, veteran of uh, chess tournaments Vishwanathan Anand play black and he's ranking 2758 uh, Wesley so open with e4 we have e5 by Anand knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 bishop c5 c3 so we have very very classical variation of Italian game and this opening is known for at least 400 years, maybe more, but we have recorded games for, uh, you know, 400 years ago. Definitely worth to know the some of the lines and some of the most interesting classical lines. We have knight on f6 by Anand, d3. We have d6, knight b on d2. And we have uh, castle by Anand, h3. And with h3, uh, you always have to consider that uh, g3 can be weakened. And uh, we see that in the game uh, between Carlsen and Giri already. Uh, we have a6 by Anand, bishop b3, not waiting for, you know, attack by b5. We have bishop on e6, challenging the bishop on uh, b3, and Wesley so move the bishop to c2, d5. An interesting move, knight g5. It's always, uh, you know, we have to always be careful if we place the bishops on the third or sixth rank, they can be attacked by the knight. Uh, in some situation, it can be annoying. In this case, Anand just uh, captures on e4. We have knight on e6, f takes on e6, and for the very short time, we see uh, the column of uh, the pawns, black pawns on the e file. And as you see, f file and d file uh, are open, so it's possible some interesting lines gonna happen. D takes on E4, pretty standard. And um, if you check the interview with Wesley So uh, after this game, so check there, you see this bubble, so click there and then check this, um, this interview, very interesting one. Uh, Wesley So tells that Queen E8 would be the most common and solid uh, way to play for black, for example, um, castle by white, rook d8, uh, queen e1, and knight h5 with the plan of uh, jumping to f4 and uh, maybe fixing this um, this pawn structure, uh, or at least have you know some attack ch attacking chances on the uh, king side, knight b3 and attacking the bishop, bishop goes to, to b6, and that's probably what Wesley so meant in the interview. And he also uh, said about interesting line, which is not really, uh, you know, visible for, for everyone, like uh, knight d5. And knight d5, it looks like, you know, sacrifice the, the, the knight for, for no reason, but there is some reason. 
uh, e takes on d5, bishop would takes on f2, king e2, and now e on d5, and knight f3 maybe, bishop b6 retreating, and now black can try to find some way to attacking the king. The king is in the center, not easy to hide this king. Uh, the, the knight can be kicked away very easily and then the queen can come to attack the king's position. Uh, probably a very unpleasant position for white, but you know, the compensation is a minor piece, so would be pretty exciting. Uh, however, in this position, uh, the move, unexpected move, Wesley so said it was unexpected, he didn't go uh, very deep in this line, takes on f2 check, and uh, yeah, uh, this line is, is not uh, well known, and Wesley so actually told that Maybe Anand uh, is bluffing because he he was waiting 30 minutes with this move, uh, but then he decided that probably just um, Anand is out of preparation, out of his book, and now they play, you know, on their brains, not on the preparation, and uh, yeah, he just uh, took on f2. We have knight on g4, so double attack and double check by. Uh, knight and the rook, so king has to go on g1. We have knight on e3 attacking uh, bishop and the queen, and as you see, uh, the bishop can't be defended. Queen e2, knight takes on uh, c2 with attack on the a1 rook, so white have to move the rook on b1. And now this knight is actually trapped, so um, there is no way to save that knight. This is why Anand play uh, knight from 6th rank goes to d4 and uh, attacking the queen and also uh, defending the knight. c takes on d4, queen takes on d4 with check, king h2, and now rook f2, so it looks like pretty powerful attack. And uh, also in interview, uh, it's very interesting to listen to interview because we know what the players see and what they feel in the you know particular moment of the game. And and so said he can he can play uh, queen on g4 or queen on g uh, on h5. Uh, however. Uh, after he calculated queen on g4, first his thinking was check what Anand can do, how he can win this game, and he couldn't find any way, so he was like very calm in this position, and if, if he doesn't see anything, then, then it's all fine. Uh, we have knight on e3, so attacking the queen, also attacking the g2 pawn, uh, looks like pretty uh, dangerous, but queen actually can take on e6 with check. Uh, we have king on h8 by uh, Anand, rook g1, so defending uh, on time on g2, uh, queen d3 uh, with the ideas of trying to attack uh, on g2, put the more pressure over there, uh, but now we have queen takes on e Five. And here, um, Wesley so said in an interview that knight on g2 doesn't really work for black, but um, after analysis, I don't really understand uh, all of that. Maybe I'm missing something. And there is definitely this attack, so uh, with checkmate on g7, so black definitely can't move this knight for now. Uh, but king h1, the the most obvious, what Wesley Wesley so said, rook a on f8, so attacks continue, queen c3 trying to uh, exchange the the queen, but also controlling uh, h3, which would be attacked and um, that would be maybe uh, dangerous. Queen e2, because black, of course, don't want to exchange as they are uh, one minor piece down. Uh, queen g3, so bringing the queen to defend. Uh, 
and the rook a to f7 and defending g7 uh, pawn that's uh, very important because now the the black knight can move queen g4 uh, trying of course to exchange uh, knight e3 in this position there is no other way so uh, white would just to exchange on on e2 and here black has a pretty nasty plan uh, of playing uh, you know on f3 and h3 with some mating ideas so white would have to just defend by playing uh, rook on g3 uh, rook e1 checking the the king and white would have to move back to g1 uh, rook e2 and we have the same position so white would have to defend the uh, third rank and uh, and yeah that would be threefold repetition so anand would have uh, you know drawing uh, drawing chances and yeah that's a missed opportunity for um for anand i'm not sure if he uh, see that probably he's seen but he he saw only the drawing chances so he play all in rook a to f8 so uh with attacking ideas definitely uh slightly worse move but uh but anand play for everything we have uh queen goes on g3 so going back to defense and now interesting would be uh, rook 8 to f6 that would be very interesting uh move after uh, b4 very important move very important move uh we would have probably rook on g6 and this is quite quite interesting and why is that uh the rook is hanging but actually could we take that rook feel free to pause the video and uh, tell me if this rook can be taken and uh, this is not much calculations but um what would be answer of black after the rook is taken why i enjoy my cup of tea uh, so yes you are right um, definitely rook can't be taken because after queen takes on f2 we would have a knight on g4 with check and double attack uh, on the queen so um, it's actually nothing to be done it's checkmate forced in two whatever happen uh, if the king go on h1 and um, then we have a check and if the king goes back to h2 and then the queen checkmate on g3 and from the other hand if the uh, white decide to take this knight on uh, g4 then black simply check on h6 and there is nothing to do checkmate on h4 is uh, coming so definitely not the brightest idea to take uh, that rook uh, the correct move would be rook go on b3 and now the queen is under attack and this queen is under attack and if the, if um, black try to move the queen actually they are losing the the knight and the game so definitely not the greatest continuation uh black would have to take on g3 and uh, exchange the the queens white would take on d3 and now uh you know the checkmating ideas um on the eight ranks are are dangerous so uh so the only way maybe would be knight on f1 with check and after taking that knight on f1 uh, pick up the rook on d3 so there, there is you know black would save from the checkmate but have definitely worse um end game uh, a3 maybe try to save How, however this this uh, pawn is um, not, not possible to save we would have just um, rook on c3 knight g3 defending uh, the pawn on e4 so black would have uh, probably the plan maybe uh, winning that uh, extra pawn um, on the queen side and uh, trying to get uh, attack with these three pawns 
and create some past pawns and that would be the only chances but uh, th the game would be like pretty pretty uh, difficult for for black but that that would be the way where black could try to find you know some winning chances however black decided to go uh, with the queen on e2 and put more pressure on the g2 pawn uh, so we have b4 very important move and we see already why because this rook can be lifted to the third rank and support all the defense uh, in this position anand took on uh, g2 uh, rook took on g2 knight took on g2 and of course not don't take this um, this knight that's a, a last trap anand set up the last trap uh, in this game because uh, of rook on the uh, second rank and would win the queen so uh, really really have to be careful to the end uh, but in this position Wesley so just go to g4 with his queen and Vishwanathan Anand just resign the game uh, why did he resign? Mm, there is nothing to do. Knight on f4. Uh, this is the only discovery, but it's of course exchanging the queens. And after king on g2, controlling um, the the squares on the on the open f file. Um, black doesn't have any counterplay. They are minor piece down, uh, or maybe for in exchange for the pawn. But it's of course winning for white. This is uh, why uh, Vishwanathan Anand just resigned the game. And yeah, as always, I put the link to the study on liches.org, so you can you can check that game. Uh, you can try what would you play um, in that position. Very interesting, very complex. And there are many even mating ideas for black uh, so white has to be very careful but uh, Wesley so managed to uh, win that game defend uh, correctly and uh, and yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one